Bill is my only son. He is a good person. He has a good heart. Everybody loves him. Bill is a caring person. He's a fun person. He's a lively person. Happy to be alive kind of person. I met Bill around 1996. Uh, he came in, uh, he was introduced to me by Michelle and we sat down to assist him with some uh, IRA rollover and some investment planning. Michelle and I happened to marry after I met Bill. Bill is Michelle's brother. Bill was interested in planning for his future. When Bill and I sat down, we realized that he did not have any disability insurance, so he purchased some. Later, as he earned more money, he purchased more disability insurance. Later, he then was offered group benefits, including health insurance, disability insurance, and some group life insurance. We discussed how keeping his individual insurance would fill in uh, the unprotected income that his group insurance didn't cover. He thought it was a good idea to keep it, and he did. Turns out to be the wisest recommendation that we ever discussed. Bill was on his way to our house and he had called at 4.30 to say I'm on my way and I'll be there in a little bit. We had the television on and I saw a news break come in about a terrible accident. Bill was coming home from a grocery store in the afternoon and a car crossed the median and hit the car that he was driving head on. The car flipped, uh, more, I think more than once, and hit a brick wall and he was upside down. ORMC trauma chopper came to get him and took him to the hospital. There was a time where we did, there, there was no way that we thought he would make it through the night. He remained unconscious for several weeks. When he woke up, he had lost the ability to speak. He had lost the ability to, um, a lot of motor, motor skills. He lost the ability to move his arms and legs. So he had to relearn all of those things. He has difficulty standing in one place sitting for a long time, uh, doing things like addition or anything that requires short-term memory are skills that he just doesn't possess anymore. Although we knew we had rough times ahead, that I wasn't ever worried and was able to assure his family that they need not be worried about where money was going to come from. He really just had to focus on getting healthy. Bill's group insurance covered 60% of his salary. The individual insurance that he receives is on top of the group disability and he receives that income tax free. The combination of the group insurance plus the individual insurance and then the additional benefits that he gets from Social Security has provided him with a household income that meets what he was earning prior to his disability. In the life insurance planning, we added a rider called waiver of premium. Waiver of premium in the event of a disability waives the premium for the insured. In this case, the premiums on Bill's whole life insurance is being waived. The dollars that are going into his life insurance policy are building substantial cash values, so when his disability insurance runs out, he'll have some sizable dividends to help supplement him through his later years. Bill's future is bright. He will have his uh, disability income for a long time. He'll be able to do all the things he wants to do in life. There's nothing that's gonna slow him down. I had good people around me, I had family, I had friends, and the most important thing for me was keeping a positive attitude. Having long-term disability insurance policies have helped me to be able to go on and afford the things that I have. He's, he's our miracle man. He's our, the, the hospital's miracle man. There, there's no way that he should have lived. We don't know how he lived, but he did. Mm -hmm.